<laughs> given, given how badly the last one went. <laughs> Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Tom. <laughs> this is the comfy sofa. Yes. yes. Oh, we're yesing at the same time. Oh, like now, if you thought the last one was rambling. <laughs> this is the video after it. It's the same day. We're still knackered. Today's topic is the Fifty Shades of Matt Gray. There was a... That, I don't even know where to start with this. Should we start it from my side? Yeah, yeah, you start from your side, because I... yeah. I'm sitting at home one day, and there's a knock at the door. A parcel arrives. It's wrapped in bin bags. I open the bin bags. There's a box inside, wrapped in bin bags. <laughs> this went for many layers. I didn't know this! I knew <laughs> none of this! Inside that, there is a box of assorted biscuits. Really? It's so said. But it was so badly taped that I thought this might not be biscuits. Were you worried about mail bombs at this point? Because if you ever see any, any like big office building or anything like that in the mail room, we'll have a big poster on the wall that says how to spot a mail bomb. And things include dodgy wrapping, mislabeling, and large and uncomfortable rattling noises. That sounds like an artist I once listened to. <laughs> <laughs> go, go back, listen, listen to that again, because I had to run through that in my head before I realised what you were... Yeah, yes, that's good, that's good. So, underneath the bin bags, the bin bags, the bin bags, and the sellotape... And Sorry, you, you, underneath the bin bags, the bin bags, the bin bags... <laughs> the bin bags, the bin bags... <laughs> Rambly. Uh, and the sellotape was this cardboard box, yes. which is sort of bursting through. <laughs> was there a big fish and little fish? Uh, no. Oh. Uh, I didn't check the freezer at the time, okay. and I certainly didn't make a note of it. This was several years ago. Uh, inside was some... Like I just, she just shut down my big fish and little fish <laughs> cardboard box joke there. It's like, that's not even... <laughs> We're on a timer. Oh, yeah, uh, go, go, go. It um, was a blister pack of something, so I opened it up. Oh, there's loads... Oh. It was full of sunglasses. Yes. In retail packaging and also unpackaged. Yeah. I wondered what this could be and I was thinking one thing. Hi. <laughs> Tom Scott. So I sent him a text message. I, I have I have form on this. I wonder if... Because... Cause... There's a screenshot of it somewhere. There, there will be a screenshot, but I'm just wondering if it's somewhere in my search is... Why on earth have you sent me this many sunglasses? No, no, sadly, the, the only reference I have, I have to that is uh, my optician asking me if I want some. That's it. <laughs> Lost in the archives somewhere. And the response I got was, I think, along the lines of 50 shades of mattgray.tumblr.com, please. <laughs> that was, I think that was... Am I right to blame Simon Harris uh, for, for some yes, of this joke? Yes, I think this is I think I am. Fault. We've, uh, we've talked about him before. Uh, well. Pair false on Twitter. Yeah. Uh, yes, I think it was partly partly his inspiration. And then I looked on eBay to find out how much 50 pairs of those kind of cheap sunglasses you found, find in the pound shop are. The answer is very little. <laughs> very little. Do they have UV protection? No. Do they say they have UV protection? <laughs> yeah, they do. I, I don't think they do. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so... So I, I made thought, the tumbler. I thought, just, just it's going to be easy. He's just going to put on a different pair of sunglasses, each one, and then take a selfie and put him in a tumbler queue, and that's a cheap joke. And if he doesn't want to do it, that's fine. I haven't wasted much money on the sunglasses. Two issues. Mm -hmm. Number one. Some of the sunglasses were the same as each other. I have Many of the sunglasses haven't. were the same as each other. They, they there were about they four different they, styles. They said they weren't. They said. Number two, <laughs> there were not 50 of them. <laughs> <laughs> so I started, I went through them, yeah, I took I, a load I, of photos. Yeah, I, I, I did it in batches, so yeah. they started going up. Yep. The site was live. Uh, link in the description. Yep. It's a Tumblr, so it'll still be up. It is still up, I think I saw it. Is this the five-year anniversary of it? Might be. It might be. There's a I long pause there. All right. Um, it's, it's, it was a while ago. Can anyway, you look this up while you're telling the story? We're on a time. Uh, oh, yeah. Go, 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 go. Go, go. So, go! I, I go! I just thought I'd disrupt you. I, t <laughs> I took all go. the selfies I could with what I had. And then I thought, well, where am I going to get more sunglasses from? Oh, yes. I own a pair. There's one. Uh, 
and then I went to the, the Oakley shop. And then to another shop, and then another shop, and then another shop, and yeah. surreptitiously <laughs> put them on. No, it's one September, one. September 2012. This finished. Ah, uh. so there's a lot of lot of photos, <laughs> a lot of photos. <laughs> the bright, the bright, li the literally rose tinted spectacles are a good one. That's that's strong. I like oh, that. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, fifty shades of matte grey. Tumblr.com. Grey is spelt with an A. Fifty is five zero. Look in the description. Yes. Um, yeah, I, I I took selfies of me in fifty pairs of sunglasses. Yeah, uh, that's pretty much it, really. <laughs> um, it's it's quite funny though. I, I, on the on the on the full computer web page, you, you yeah. can see all of them at once. I've always said I don't like pranks, and yet this is the second time on this channel that we have described a prank I've pulled on someone. That technically, I don't think you've ever got me back for. But again, oh, this it, time it has it has opt out. Yeah. Like the wor the the worst case scenario there is you get a load of shades and you go, no, I'm not doing that. Which I know you would have absolutely no problem doing. <laughs> I have four. <laughs> but the the thing is, the amount of during the time when that book came out, the people go. Oh, hello, Mr. Gray. Yeah. Oh, did you get a lot of that? Oh yes. If, you know, when whenever I'm being. You know, hand my card over yep. or yep. on a check in for a plane or. Oh, right, okay. You know, whenever people know my yep. name. Um, and they go, oh, 50 Shades of Matt Gray. And I, I now had a response. I, go, yep. I did that. Yeah. You did what? <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I took my photo with 50 pairs of sunglasses. And I went, oh. Oh, that's, a, that's actually a really disappointing punchline when you put it that way, isn't it? <laughs> no, no it, it's great because of the horror in their face. And it sounds like <laughs> I'm suggesting something. I don't know what happened. Whatever it was that I was suggesting, it was badly written. That's so yes. uninformed. Yeah. Uh, Twilight fan fiction, apparently. Oh, yes, I heard that. Yeah. We are so topical <laughs> that we need a cream. Uh, <laughs> oh, I just remember a wonderful joke. I, I, and only like anyone who didn't grow up in the UK in the nineties is is not going to get this reference. But did you hear that uh, Lilt are uh, provide are now producing cream to uh, help solve jock itch? It's the scrotally topical paste. <laughs> that is based on a slogan for soft drinks advert in the nineties. Uh... <laughs>